welcome back to Teachers at Tutor. Today we've got another video. This time it's all about um, turning in work and uploading learning on Google Classroom. We hope you find it useful and we hope it helps. Please let us know down below if there's anything else you need, um, how to use Google Classroom, etc. Let's get into it. Hello everyone, so now we're going to look at how you can submit learning on Google Classroom. So when you first or when your child first log, logs into Google Classroom, it will look a little something like this. Now, depending on how your um, school is organising the learning, um, you will always find it in classwork and they might organize it by subject they might organize it by day um, so say for example today is monday and i'm um, i know it's my time to do my literacy so what i'm going to do is i'll go to monday section and i will click on my task so i'll see that my teacher has given me some instructions here um, that i need to follow um, so I can read those and to open up my um, resource that I need for this lesson all I need to do is click onto it now here if it says word or doc that tells me that it's um, a word document and if I click on it it will open in um, Google Docs so to access that you just need to click on um, the resource and click up here open with Google Docs now depending on your computer depending on um, the software that you have um, this may work some sometimes children panic and they aren't able to open it if that isn't the case then you might need to just open up a separate Google Doc but I can show you that after but as I am able to do this I'm just going to click open with Google Docs now, this is going to take me to the resource that my teacher has um, given me. So I know that this is what my task is. So I can um, add my, my words to describe what I can see in this picture. Underneath, I can write my um, three sentences. So in the picture, I can see and I will go on to say what I can see. Um, the moon, I can see uh, a few different things there. So what you will need to do once you have finished that task, you will go to, you can make um, a copy, but you can also change the name of it. So say, for example, um, I want to um, save it as Moon Activity Miss Finlay, and it will save automatically in my um, in my Google Drive okay so you need to just make sure that um, that any um, changes that you make are being saved so in order for me to um, submit this activity and show my teacher that I have done it if I go to view assignment it will bring up something that looks like this so what i what i will do first of all to show my teacher that i've done it i will click mark as done and that will show the, my teacher that i've done it or you might want to go to add and create to upload your task now you might have um say for example if it was something that you wanted to do on paper and you've taken you've taken a photo of that learning and you want to upload that this is where you can do it so this gives you the opportunity you can upload a doc you can upload a slide you can upload um, a picture like I've just said but as I did my um, activity on that Google Doc I will click here to my Google Drive and usually it is quite clever it does give you what you've opened up recently so that was the thing that I used most recently. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click insert. So this is what my teacher or um, any parents or children at home 
whatever you upload, that's what your class teacher will be able to see on Google Classroom. And then I will click turn in. And that will show my teacher that I have com um, completed that task and I have attached um, my um, learning. Please, please, please remember teachers, teachers will love it if you um, upload your learning as well as turning it in. Um, it can be slightly difficult for you to give feedback to children as a teacher if they haven't uploaded their learning. So just make sure that your learning is uploaded just how I showed you there. If, it, if you realise, oh no, I need to go back, I need to add something or maybe um, you needed to, your teacher said, okay, go back and check it. You can unsubmit it, edit what you did and then you can go back um, and upload that again. Now, it's also possible that if you, um, if you don't want to use this um, as your um, task, if I go to new document, if I wanted to do something extra, for example, say I maybe my teacher wanted me to write some sentences about the moon, but I want to go a little bit further and I want to do some research about the moon, I can open up a new doc research about the moon and I can I can spend my time if I finished my activity early I can do lots and lots of research about the moon I can put lots of pictures here and I can save this as it, it's already changed the name to research about the moon but I might just want to call it research Miss Finlay and that will save that in my drive automatically. OK, so when I go back here to unsubmit, I can also add that research that I've done to for my teacher to have a look at. So as you can see, I've not just uploaded my learning, I've uploaded another doc I can turn in two attachments will be submitted and I've not only got my task that was given but I can also add a new doc as well so there's so much you can do with Google Classroom um, and hopefully we've helped you a little bit with how to submit some learning thank you